talk in this video about another example of accrual basis accounting and cash basis accounting. In this example, we have delivery firm. In this delivery firm, we have delivery staff are paid eight dollars an hour. And during March, delivery staff worked four hundred hours and are paid. $2,500 and the car uh, driven by the delivery staff cost $36,000 and are expected to be used for three years. When uh, the question uh, the question is how much is delivery expense for March? So we need to calculate delivery expense during March. So to start, what I would like always to do in my exams or even doing or practicing any example, to highlight the important information in, this, in the question. So we have, in the question we have an information saying that delivery staff are paid $8 an hour. So this is the cost of the delivery uh, staff per hour. And in March, delivery staff worked 400 hours. So this is the total hours that the delivery staff worked during March. And we have paid, uh, paid to the, the staff uh, on wages 25 uh, $2,500 and for the car it cost us $36,000 and its useful life is 3 years so we need to calculate delivery expense so first delivery Expense equal. We have two things the delivery staff wage and the cost of the car driven by the delivery staff. So we have wage expense plus. expense okay let's just start with the wage expense wage for the wage the delivery staff is paid eight dollars each hour and worked 400 hours 400 hours so in total it is 8 times 400 3200 dollars hundred dollars this is the total wage expense we have for the beer and this is using accrual accounting okay okay for the car expense We have to, to, to see because here we have to do depreciation. We'll do very simple depreciation. The car costs us $36,000 and it is useful for three years. So we have to check what is the cost of this car each year per year 
then we have to divide it by 12 months to see for the month for the month of March what was the expense the cost of using the car so we have to divide 36,000 by three years which equal to 36,000 divided by 3, 12,000. So this 12,000 per year. Then we'll take 12,000 divided by 12 months. So we can come to the cost of using the car each month. 12,000 divided by 12 is 1,000. So the car is costing us 1,000 sorry per month. So the total total delivery expense equal to the wage expense the thirty two hundred plus one thousand equal to 4200 dollars this is the total revenue uh, the total delivery expense for March this using accrual accounting let's try to do the same example using cash basis accounting please notice here that there's one number we didn't use the delivery stuff are paid 2500 here the, the, the wage that we have to pay to the the staff is 3200 but maybe we were we were uh, 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 running out of cash so we decided to pay him or here 2500 only then we'll pay later uh, the excess 700 but because we are using accrual accounting we have to incur the total expense uh, for wages uh, regardless of if you paid the cash or not so let's uh, try to do the same thing using cash basis accounting let's remove all of this Okay, so we'll start with wage expense. Equal to you have to see how much cash is paid. Here we are using cash basis accounting. Okay. We have paid two thousand for the worker, so two thousand five hundred is our wage expense for the car expense. We have 
paid 36,000 to purchase the car. So we have 36,000 for the car. So delivery expense equal to 2500 plus 36,000 equal to 500 plus 36,000 equal to 38,500. You can see the huge difference between cash basis and accrual basis accounting. In accrual basis, we we got delivery expense 4200 only but here it's saying that our delivery expense is 38500 so we can again see the difference between cash basis and accrual basis and we can see why accrual basis is more accurate thank you for watching this video and please continue with the course and i hope you have great time with us thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next videos